All sickle cell warriors have a different level of disease severity. So let's look at one of the markers that gives you an indication of what your level is. I'm a former doctor and GP living with sickle cell myself. And although I've worked really hard in my career, for the majority of the time, my disease severity has probably not been as debilitating as most. So if you have the ability to look at your hematology blood test results, you'll see one called reticular site count. And basically what this tells tells you is the number of new baby red blood cells being made. And that essentially tells us how hard your bone marrow is working to replace lost red blood cells that are broken down very quickly. So let me show you my recent results. So you can see here that I'm just outside the upper limit of normal, which fits with any hemolytic anemia where your red blood cells are being broken down faster than they can be made. And this is the normal range I tend to sit at most most of the time when I'm well. So that might give you an idea to compare to. But if you look back at March, April, when I was admitted to hospital with a sickle cell crisis, um, the level of reticular sites was a lot higher, it peaked. Um, and this is obviously because my body was breaking down red blood cells faster during the crisis. And then I was having to make more reticular sites to keep up um, and replace those red blood cells. So hopefully that shines some light on just one of the markers you can use to figure out how good or bad your sickle cell is at any point of time. And yeah, let me, let me know your levels. Currently mine's sitting at around 77 to 80, which is pretty much normal. Um, and back in March, it was up at 130 something. So you might be much higher than that, I don't know. But it's worth checking and monitoring if you already have those blood results. Now you just have the knowledge to interpret it.